the Mokadi Education Network is proud to celebrate Black History Month. Often, Black people find that the record of their struggles and achievements and the contribution to humanity goes unnoticed. This is unacceptable. Therefore, we want to study and teach about the immense contribution of Black individuals and communities to our world. We celebrate the diverse histories of African and Caribbean descent people, their achievement and their contribution to the UK. The articles in Dems online magazine and this short video provide some of the students' reflections on this month. We like to remind our students that the history of the Black people is an integral part of the history of humankind. So first of all, I believe that Black History Month is, is a month that is meant to be celebrated, promoted and, um, and supported and really respected because it's not about supporting one very ethnic group, but it's really about supporting diversity as a whole. And very often when we celebrate Black History Month, we remember colonialism, remember slavery, and sometimes we tend to forget that there is positive in all of this. There is positive that the black community has been uh, bringing to the UK, has been bringing to the world as a whole and, and really understanding that the black community is not all about slavery and colonialism. There is way much more to that. There are definitely great achievements that we need to remember and celebrate as well. Black history is an integral part of UK history. Black people have helped and continue to help Britain becoming the great power it is today. This is all because black history is powerful and very significant. However, one thing that saddens me is that today we are witnessing the mistreatment of black people resulting from the Rain Rush generation scandal in the UK. And their history, their experiences must be told and really amplified through Black History Month. What Black History Month means to me is it's a period where we can showcase who we are, our talents, our cultures, what we've been through and tell our story. It's also a period where we can be proud of who we are, what we've been through and how far we've come and also the amazing things that black people have done in the world for the rest of the world and for their community and for themselves. So what does Black History Month mean to me? Black History Month is a celebration of black culture, black history, our contributions to this country, um, and also just paving the way um, for raising more voices for black people within our community and, in, and within society today. Um, as much as Black History Month is um, something that I personally look forward to every single year, I just think it would be nice for it to actually be eradicated altogether. I would like our education system to include more black narratives to include more black books to include more black stories so that it's not just one day that is um designated to, to um people that look like me but that were included throughout english history were included throughout um english culture were included just um every single day of the year because we also uh, made as much of an impact in how the world is shaped today as other races as well Black History Month is important to me because I'm a black woman, but also gives us a chance to celebrate influential black figures who were not celebrated at the time, nor were they recognised because of the colour of their skin. Black History Month gives us a chance to get to know these figures who contributed to society, but also to commemorate them. Figures like Mary Kenner, who was an African-American woman who created, who invented the sanitary belt. Without her, we wouldn't have the modern day period pad. Her invention is used globally, but very few know her name. Black History Month gives us a chance to reflect and learn about figures like herself and many more. It's a time to, to reflect on our history as a black people and recognize those who, um, who paved the way for the privileges and for the rights I have today as a black person. And why this is important is because it helps to educate yourself. You get to know more about your history. You get to define how the world should be. You get to um, understand why things are the way they are and what you can do as an individual to make it better. And also, more importantly, because these things are not being taught in school, so it's left for you to find these informations out. So it's a time of reflection. 
the UK, Black History Month is celebrated the month of October, which reflects and recognises the success of black individuals who have contributed to not only history, but to society. During this month, many organisations and societies set up events and social gatherings to acknowledge and highlight the remarkable success of the black community. This is also a time where others can educate themselves about black historical figures who have shaped our society and continue to shape our society today. This month promotes knowledge and understanding of the black history and culture which has become a key celebration globally, inviting all people around the world to take part and show appreciation. Black History Month is a time for people to understand what black people have to go through or black people things that black people have gone through in 2021 in Britain and it also it gives a chance to highlight creatives, uh, clothing brands, black businesses, food, culture, just to get everyone educated because I know in the current education system, they don't really teach um, young people or just kids in general um, the full spectrum of black culture, just teaches a tiny bit, especially in history. Black like History Month was first known in 1926 where the founder, Carter G. Woodson, spoke to the press on releasing the date and Black History Month was known to the world in 1976 where the US president all agreed to use February as a month to celebrate Black History Month. They used February due to the fact that Abraham Lincoln and uh, and Frederick Douglass were, had, their, had their birthdays on that month. Black History Month is important because it's a way of celebrating and remembering important roles and events that in the history of African diaspora. And I think it's important for people to be aware of Black History Month because it just it not only makes people aware of like the struggles black people had to go through to achieve freedom and equal opportunity, but it also helps us to um recognize the central roles of black people. Black History Month is a special month every year where we celebrate the lives of phenomenal black people that came before us. More so this year, the Black Lives Matter movement resonating around the world and shedding light on the systematic discrimination faced by black communities, we must more than ever recognize and honor the struggles and battles by black men and women that we face to overcome for the fight for equality. And we should take this opportunity to stand with our black staff and students and renew our commitment towards true equality, diversity, inclusion for everyone. While the journey ahead is long, in light of the ongoing pandemic, we must, we must take a moment to highlight and celebrate the excellence, groundbreaking contributions and innovations made by our black nurses, doctors, scientists and innovators. I wanted to thank them for celebrating Black History Month. Within our university, we not only celebrate Black History Month, but also celebrate as Black History Year. Now, why do we do it? We do it because we want to affirm our commitment to diversity, but more importantly, we want to affirm our commitment to anti-racism. There is no point of education if we do not have education that challenges prejudices and bigotry. And racism is one of the many bigotries that our society experiences. We have to also acknowledge that the knowledge production around the world has been largely dominated by people of certain identities. So if you want to genuinely decolonize and diversify knowledge, what we need to do is acknowledge identities that have been suppressed. We need to acknowledge that histories have been connected closely to coloniality, closely connected to ideas of asymmetries of power, I mean to acknowledge the close link between knowledge and power. What we at Westminster University do is challenge the link between knowledge and power. We want to affirm identities that have been largely marginalized. We want to affirm voices that have been largely underrepresented. And we want to make our institution, our school, School of Social Sciences, visible. It's quite important, therefore, that we see Black History Month and Black History Year not as a tokenistic gesture, but as a wider commitment to make the world a better place for everyone, regardless of the gender, regardless of the race, regardless of the ethnicity, regardless of any other identity. But until unless we get an egalitarian world and until unless we get a just world, until then, we need to keep struggling against injustices, racism, misogyny, homophobia and all forms of bigotry. 
actually we, it's not just Black History Month. It is Black History Month, but it's the start of our Black History Year. Second year we've been doing this because it's really important that we, we learn, we understand, we acknowledge issues around racism. We're an anti-racist university. We take action to try and overcome, identify and overcome racism, misogyny, harassment, all sorts of things like that. So to learn from the past, to recognize where we are now, to be provoked, to think about things in different ways, to think about things from different perspectives, to hear lived experience of others is really important for us all to genuinely become a place where whoever you are, wherever you come from, you can come to our university and to feel safe and you belong. So uh, they're a fantastic array of events. I went to many last year. We had one last week from George the Poet. They always provoke thinking. They always help you question your own perspectives and views on things. And so that's what it's about. And it's great at Westminster to be doing this thing. The other great thing is it's not just Westminster. The event I went to last week had loads of people from other unis and other places who were with us in, so in solidarity to discover and learn together to try and make things better you know, in what's a really difficult subject area.